The power distribution network consists of three parts. The power distribution network in the die, the power distribution network in the package, and the power distribution network in the printed circuit board. When you join all of them together, what results is a power delivery network. In a system, you would have a power delivery network that consists of the die, the package, and the printed circuit board. When you power up the transistors, the supply, the power supply is on the printed circuit board. So every time a transistor switches, it requires charge. The charge flows from the power supply through the interconnections in the printed circuit board, the package, as well as the die. And along the way, the charge or the current travels through the parasitics in the power delivery network. Therefore, when the transistor switches, you end up generating power supply noise. What is very interesting is that when you look at the signature of this power supply noise as a function of time, you would see a signature that consists of parts from the die, the package, the printed circuit board, and you would also see the interactions between any two of them. And therefore, every single part in this power distribution network has a direct effect on the operating frequency of a system. In a computer system, you can always have bits that operate at high frequency or bits that operate at low frequency. And depending on the frequency of operation of these bits, you basically would draw power from either the package, the printed circuit board, or the TIE power distribution network. This is what we call as the DC to daylight problem because you really cannot ignore any one part of this power delivery 